What's good, R&B squad? This is Sada Farouf. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new to this family, we don't believe that you're here by accident. Welcome. We're happy to have you. And Jesus is, of course, always happier. Guys, it is raining a bit and it is a little bit noisy out here while I'm recording this. So I am going to try my best to raise my voice over the noise. If, of course, you guys cannot hear me, turn on the closed captioning. So the word I have today comes from a couple things that the Lord spoke to me and a couple things he showed me in the spirit and from a dream that I had. And as per usual, when you listen, you'll know what's for you and what isn't. Take what's for you, leave the rest, eat the meat, spit out the bone. Y'all know how we do it here. So I'm just going to get right into it. And these messages may be connected for some of you and for others of you, they can be standalone messages. But to me, they came off to me like they weren't connected. So first of all, for someone, it's somebody that's coming around you right now and they have a romantic interest in you. And this person, the Lord is saying that this person, they say all of the right things and everything they they do seems right at the moment, but it's all sweet nothings. This person really isn't all that they present themselves to be. And if you stick around long enough, which I hope you do not, I hope you take heed to this. If you stick around long enough, you're going to see for yourself that this person is just full of empty promises. They will say things, they will talk a good game, they'll sell themselves really well. But at the end of the day, they're not going to measure up to whom they say they are. So don't waste your time. That was the first thing. Secondly, I had this dream, and in the dream, I saw that there was this meal being prepared. And the people who were preparing the meal, they were missing some seasonings from it. And they had to wait on this one particular lady to bring the seasoning. She was the only person who could bring the seasonings. Nobody else had it. And when that woman arrived, she started unpacking the seasonings that she had brought with her. And among the seasonings, I saw that she took out this little bottle of salt. And that was the end of the dream. So the Lord led me to Mark 9, verse 50. Salt is good, but if the salt loses its flavor, how will you season it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace with one another. For someone, be reminded that you are the salt. And because you are the salt... Because you have the seasonings, the right seasonings, there are certain things that cannot go into effect. There are certain things that cannot take place. There are certain things that would not be the same without your presence, without your input. So if that job is missing something, you're the missing link. And when you apply, the people at that job are going to know that it was you that was missing. You've got the salt. If there's a particular ministry And something about it is lackluster. It's not reaching its full potential. And you're about to serve in that ministry. You are the missing ingredient. You're what's going to take that ministry to the next level. Whatever field God is putting you in, wherever God is planting you, just know that you are needed there. You are the salt. If this is pertaining to your kingdom marriage, this is why the person that God has chosen to be your spouse cannot move on from you, even if they try to. This is why, even if you have never met this person yet, they are going to be dissatisfied with everybody that they date until they come to you because you are the salt. Some things are not going to be the same without your flavor. So hold on to that. On the flip side of that, Because you are the salt, you need to act accordingly. You cannot be out here. And I understand. I get it. I know there are some things and some situations out here that will make you want to come about your Christian character. Almost. But just remember, if you are the salt of the earth, you got to keep your flavor. You cannot have anybody taking away from the flavor. Make sure that you have salt in yourselves, regardless of what the situation is. So that was for that. Then for someone, there's something that God has been putting in your spirit for some time. He's been showing you in the spirit realm and giving you hints that this thing is so, but you don't have any concrete evidence of it 
in the natural. You're about to receive concrete evidence. For some of you, it is going to come in the form of something written, a document. You're going to receive concrete evidence, hard evidence. For some of you, it's going to be a video showing and proving that this thing that God has been showing you in the spirit is actually existing in the natural, or this thing has actually occurred in the natural. So you're going to receive the proof you're looking for, for something. So I hope this message blessed someone. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.